Hello guys, welcome to Tufa Tech. Today's video is about the Mac Pro 5.0, the one I use at home, the old primitive machine. It's gonna get some PC mark, benchmark testing today. So a couple of things that I would like you to notice is the temperature meter over here and the timer. As you can see, not the timer, it's a stopwatch. As you can see, it's running and here, the room temperature is around 23 degrees. That's where exactly this device is. The probe is placed inside the CPU, it's inside the box. And I'm gonna show that at a later point where exactly it's located. For now, I'm gonna shut down this PC and then I'm gonna start it up. So first we're gonna see how long it takes to boot up the Mac Pro, even though it's running an SSD. Compared to that, a similar PC starts up in eight to 10 seconds. Let's see how long the Mac takes and then we'll take it from there. Hold on, watch and enjoy. So I've already started the Mac, just press the power button, it's been already 8 seconds since I've pressed the power button, as you can see the timer is moving. The inside temperature in the Mac, it's in between, the CPUs is around 37.9 degrees and the room temperature is approximately 23.5 degrees. It's already 27 seconds, almost 30 seconds and still we have no activity on the screen, means the Mac is still doing its part. So let's wait. Great. Great, we have screen login time. So we are in the desktop now. It's only 38 degrees inside the CPU, the CPU area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off some of the startup application so it does not bother with our PC mark. We need the Steam running because it's installed inside the Steam. So let's get to it. So I finally managed to start Steam and I'm gonna go with the PC mark. It's a demo version, it's not a complete version. I'll be probably getting the full version and uh, we will have more uh, elaborate tests after we have the full version but to do a decent benchmark a standard benchmark the, the this default version that's available is more than enough and that's what we're going to do i'm going to start the uh, the stopwatch which is out there the stopwatch there and then you can see the temperature is 39 degrees almost 40 degrees inside the cpu and 25.7 outside so let's get to this testing and see how it goes 